creative continuity. We bring the convention to you. Harold Kane here with Rob Dimensions. You had your own comic book store, you're right. selling video games and so forth and everything. Yeah. Now you crossed over into films. How did that transition happen? Well, actually, I had uh, been involved with professional wrestling for, I don't know, since like 2001. Okay. And uh, I had done some writing for them, and I had made some friends that were making some films, so they had asked me to be in one of their films. So I went in as an actor, and I was like, oh, this is relatively easy, it's not too bad. And then uh, I tell everyone, I, I, I suffered with depression in uh, like a few years ago. And when I was depressed, I literally wrote this movie, No Climbing Around, and I asked a friend of mine that I had been in his movie, I said, hey, would you be interested in shooting this movie with me? And he read it, and he was like, it's unlike anything I've ever done. Yeah, I'm totally in. And that's really where it snowballed from. It kind of started from there. And then I became a guest at Monster Mania, which is located in Cherry Hill. Uh, and I do a lot of the Q&As there. Uh, and I, I've been a guest now at other conventions. And it, it's just continued. We did our last film, Baggage, uh, a year and a half ago. And that has played, you know, fortunately, all over the country. Mm. And uh, both of our films have been award-winning films. And we just finished in post. We just did two movies. We did Rabbit Hole, which will be out in March. And we also did our movie Boob Tube, which is a dark comedy. Again, they're just shorts. You know, we're just trying to test the waters and see really how we can work ourselves to a feature. We just announced our feature, The Clown Wars, which will be an extension of the Mumbles the Clown character from No Climbing Around. That'll be in 2015 that we'll be start shooting to film that. What got you into acting? Uh, it's, you know, I, I think I've always had uh, a desire to be an actor. Mm -hmm. um, and the more that you're around cameras, the more comfortable that you are. And being right. in professional wrestling, you know, I was on-air talent. Um, it just kind of becomes second nature and it's not really so hard to, to do. My hardest thing, honestly, is, is learning lines. You know, uh, I'm just not that good at learning lines. So a lot of stuff, I'll, I'll kind of like, we'll learn it as we go. You know, as, if for the next day, I'll learn my lines for the next day. But yeah, you know, like... I never really had much of a problem, and I've played uh, terrible people, like in, in the new movie called uh, A Dark Place Inside, which is by Mike O'Mahony out of Philly. That's on video on demand, and I believe it comes out uh, in the next few weeks on DVD. I play like a pedophile, alcoholic, abusive father. Wow, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> but I've also played, you know, like the fun guy and like some comedy stuff, so... But m more or less, my characters seem to be derived from horror. You did a film, and... Yes. The characters were made in the comic book characters? Yes, I did a, a short film called No Climbing Around, and uh, Dynamite Comics was uh, cool enough to add Mumbles the Clown and Trixie and Mr. Peepers to their Living Corpse comic last year. It was uh, the Living Corpse Haunted one shot that we were in, and we were on, you know, it's, it's it, as myself, I am a comic book fan, mm -hmm. and there is nothing more amazing than seeing a character that you write, that you portray, be transformed into a comic I can only and know imagine. that people are grabbing your comic you know uh, nationwide mm. I also was another uh, comic book character in a comic called Escape from Jesus Island which is uh, yeah it's pretty crazy another horror one but I was part of a SWAT team that they had so my character was on there it was awesome oh, you know crowdfunding has been it's always been around because right. people just would handle it differently years ago they would go to individuals well now it's you know with Kickstarter and Indiegogo and GoFundMe and all these uh, you know all these uh, crowdfunding uh, different websites what I do is I try and give you the tools to make sure that when you when you put your product out there that you you're seen and that you get results getting results is really tough you know it's it's a big pool now so how do you get noticed well you know I try and give you the tools to let you get noticed whether it's having a good uh, presence online, whether it's making your trailer and your presentation look good, um, you know, whether it's making sure that you have market, uh, your, your marketing uh, tools are good, like, like good flyers and what conventions that you're doing and what time of year you're trying to raise funds. All that stuff comes into play. So mm. I try and really do my best for that. If anybody wants to get that, they can get me at, at Rob Dimension on Twitter uh, or robdimension.com. You can check that website out and email me there. I'd love to be able to talk to you about your project. As far as independent filmmaking goes, everyone's trying to get noticed, but more importantly, everyone's trying to make their own art and take their own way to do it. Right. And I encourage people, whenever anybody says, you know, hey, I have this movie I want to make, my, my words of advice are make it. You know, get your friends together, do what you got to do, and start, if you sit and say you're going to do it and you never do it, you're going to regret it. I encourage people to go make their art. This is Harold Gant, signing off with Rob Dementia. Keep an eye out, this is an up-and-coming film, man. Trying. I know this man. 
Ambler in the building. <laughs> All right. That's right. Signing off.